So today, I actually want to take a minute from talking about Amy Coney Barrett for a second here in this video, because, um, well, I'm pretty sure Americans here are not appreciating that they're going to have their um, individual rights taken away from them and that stuff, and this can be overwhelming to a lot of people. But uh, at the same time, here we are today, and we are facing the um, most important day here in American history and that stuff. And people are very nervous about Election Day. Like, uh, what is going to be the fate of America today? Um, what's going to change and that stuff? And, you know, people are freaking out about it. So, um, I thought it'd be best to just, you know, make a video today because I don't even know who's going to get reelected, uh, what are the fate of America is going to be overall from this coronavirus and all the, um, peaceful protesting and looting situations that is going on around here and that stuff and, like, what is the, uh, what's going to be the, uh, person that's going to take charge of America right now for these next four years and that stuff? I would just really want to hope that it's not Donald Trump getting reelected because, uh, let's, let's face it, he, he, if he does get reelected and that stuff, he's not going to do anything to actually help this nation uh, peacefully, okay, he, uh, obviously, number one, he never wanted to transition to being a peaceful person of, you know, power, he never wanted to, um, go into a peaceful transition of power at all, so, uh, him being reelected is pretty much going to be a bad choice for America for these next four years. If that ever was the outcome in this election. And I can just make a point from the first election here. He actually said that all of this was not going to end well. Well, I'm certainly seeing it that way right now. Because if he were the one that does get reelected, then of course it's not going to end well and that stuff. People are going to still, you know, be under this coronavirus. There could be, like, delays of having a vaccine get out and that stuff. And, you know... He would not want to, you know, care about, you know, Americans' health, safety, you know, whatever, that stuff. I mean, I don't care if you're voting for this idiot, though, but, well, I, I'm saying that because, well, what what's he ever done for the people in the past three years of his presidency? Well, actually, four years now, being that it's election day now. But yeah, uh, could America actually handle having eight years in total of just chaos, division, and corruption here in America? I don't think so. I don't think America could actually even tolerate uh, narcissism. For the next four years. That being counting to eight years total. Mm. So, um, yeah, there is, um, there is a lot of, uh, fear, um, there is, like, a bunch of uh, 
you know, scary things that are going on right now. But, overall, <laughs> people just need to be calm. If Joe Biden were to be elected here, um, pretty much... America would be in a much safer place in the hands of somebody that is, regardless of parties, first off, I want to get that, I want to make that clear. I mean, I don't even care if this guy's a Democrat. I don't really care about, you know, the extra stuff that goes along with you know, political parties. <laughs> All right. A lot of people would vote for Joe Biden because, well, they just don't want someone with uh, narcissism leading the American people, which is, as in, I like to say, President Trump has shown fake leadership to the country. And, you know, four more years of this, I don't even know how people could actually even deal with that. But if that even did come to that, then we just need to be, you know, calm about this. And, you know, if... There could be, like, a second impeachment trial going on to actually get this guy out of office. So, I mean, to me, if he were to buy himself into getting reelected in the Oval Office, I wouldn't be surprised to see that the Democrats try to, you know make a second impeachment trial to actually get this guy out of office. Because if he gets reelected and that stuff, people here in America are not going to want to, you know, deal with all the narcissism and all that stuff that he wants to continue to do here in America. The, it's Highly important that I was making this video today because, you know, you know, this is what America needs to do. If, when this guy gets reelected, if that were to ever happen, which he probably have like a low chance of getting reelected, but I can't say low again because, you know, you can never be sure. But the polls Biden has are actually much higher than Donald Trump, so he could actually, you know, be beaten by Joe Biden. I can't say that for, you know, a fact, but, you know, opinion. But, yeah. And I just realized something here. I realized that I'm playing a science fiction game. And this is exactly how he, uh, deals with the coronavirus. He believes that the coronavirus is, you know, science fiction, meaning... It's, you know, you get the point? Scientists say that the coronavirus is out there. He's saying it's not. And he's going after doctors. And he, uh, he, uh, promised to his, uh, fellow, um, Trump supporters 
that he would promise to fire Dr. Anthony Fauci after, after the election. You obviously know what that means. That would mean that Donald Trump would do whatever he could in his power to actually ensure that Americans would not be protected, that people would continue to die in this country, and, you know, you know, I would, I would just be saying facts right here, so... It's not really a surprise to me at all, really, if that ever did come to Donald Trump getting reelected here. Like, I'm pretty sure the moderator for the election, the presidential election, probably won't take any crap from Donald J. Trump like the moderator did from the last election, from the last um, presidential debate with the mute button. Uh, we, we just, all of us have to just, you know, see what goes, what happens here, how all of this is going to just play, and Joe Biden could probably, you know, do better, and I wouldn't be surprised to actually see this, but, you know, I've, uh, discussed this in previous videos that if Donald Trump doesn't even win re-election here that he's going to, you know, possibly throw a bunch of Twitter tantrums again like he always did and, you know, beg, um, beg the Supreme Court, even his, uh, nominee that he nominated in the Supreme Court Amy Coney Barrett to uh, grant him the rights to be automatically reelected with violating the rules that a president must accept defeat if he doesn't seek reelection like he wanted to. And, and Trump wouldn't play by the rules. So that's pretty much what re reelecting would mean for him. It's just he won't play by the rules. He won't listen to scientists about the deadly coronavirus. He wouldn't even, you know, listen to the people that told him he needs to take better care of his health. And, you know, he wouldn't stop holding rallies so that he could still infect millions of Americans. That's just the reality of it. But anyway, we have to see how this election goes down today. Uh, hopefully, Joe Biden gets reelected. We can't deal with narcissism here in America in the next four years. And if he ever did get reelected, Donald J. Trump will continue his narcissistic behavior for the next four years. And... Continue with division and corruption. Continue to hold rallies and infect millions of Americans here and that stuff. And I don't even see how we could deal with this in the next four years. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked what was being discussed in this video, uh, hopefully I would try after a, the debate or maybe a few hours after the debate, I'll try making another video. If I choose to, and um, that will end the videos, then this is Charles Morris. Have a good day. I will see you all in the next video.